afternoon, Shelby County. We have had an eventful week, and as you know, the weather has been the topic of conversation. I wanted to mention to you there are several factors that we look at, and there are many, many people that come together as a team to make the decision about whether we go to school, whether we have an NTI day, and much of that is driven by our school calendar as well. So I'm gonna have Ms. Tingle, who is our Assistant Superintendent of Operations, give you a little bit more input. Ms. Tingle, and also Mr. Mike Clark, and obviously Manny Stone, our Transportation Director, are some of the key people that we pull together. We have lots of drivers and people out on the roads, and our maintenance crews have done a tremendous job. So there are many, many people that come together to make those decisions, and I'll let Ms. Tingle talk to you about what some of those criteria are. Every situation is different. Hi, I'm Jill Tingle. I'm Assistant Superintendent of Operations, and I have part of my operations team here today to discuss with you guys what it looks like when we decide to close school or go to an NTI day. We um, just got off a call with the National Weather Service, which is pretty much our protocol. We get lots of input, um, including those that are the expert meteorologists in our area. And we also consult with our road department, that's county and city crews, to see what their plans are for inclement weather in the area. And I'm gonna hand it over to our transportation director. Thank you, I'm Manny Stone. I am the transportation coordinator for the district. And my role is, is to make sure that we come to school safely on the road. So I have a crew that goes out all over the county. We ride all of the routes to check and make sure that your kids can get to school safely. So that's kind of my part. Also take into account the, um, the feelings of the bus drivers to make sure that they can get our kids to school safely. Manny, what time do you start riding those roads? We get out about 4 o'clock in the morning and we start riding. Uh, then we meet at the bus garage around 5 and then we give our recommendation to Dr. Sugg about what do we think the roads look like and should we go to school or not. So, Shelby County families, my name is Mike Clark. I'm Director of Student Services for Shelby County Schools. As you can see, we have a team of adults who try to make the best recommendation possible to Dr. Sugg. Uh, when we do need to close our schools, perhaps for an NTI day. Uh, we also would like to thank our curriculum department, our schools are well versed uh, how to deliver instruction electronically and we look forward to continue to using those days whenever those days are next necessary. Please know that we're always going to make the best decision possible and, and Dr. Sugg and her team along with uh, Ms. Tingle and our operations team, uh, we're going to do the very best we can to keep students safe um, and, and keep them sound and warm this time of year. And how many days do we have, Mr. Clark? We have 10 NTI days to work with. Um, this school year so uh, we used one yesterday so that leaves us nine more uh, as we progress through the winter and what about not just roads what else do we check in the mornings besides roads so we check parking lots in the morning uh, we, we check temperatures and and we do the the very best we can do in in collaboration with our emergency management system the national weather service the briefings that we get regularly and we always try to get our message out as soon as possible our goal is always to try to have it done the decision made by 5 a.m unfortunately mother nature doesn't always allow that to happen in that time frame but as soon as possible we want to let parents know because we know it is an inconvenience for families when we can't be in person for learning. So thank you so much for your patience and cooperation as we do what we can to make the best decisions for all of Shelby County Public Schools. The last thing I want to bring to your attention is this is school board month and we want to celebrate our school board. A couple of them have been on the board for over 36 years. And we have some newer members, but all of them work together and their job is to make sure that students are learning and all of our operations and everything in Shelby County Public Schools is running smoothly. They hire me, the superintendent, and other than that, they do not, by law, get involved in any personnel matters, but they have direct oversight over everything that goes into our school's district, and I want to say thank you to them, and we appreciate all their work. So next Thursday, 
on the 25th, we will be celebrating our school board. Another thing I want you to be aware of with school board meetings, you are always welcome. We have a sign-up sheet for you when you come in to speak. And once you sign in, you will have two minutes to share your ideas and your thoughts or your concerns with the school board. We are starting our meetings at 6 o'clock in 2024 as opposed to 7 o'clock before every other year it's been 7 o'clock. So once again, make note of that time if you want to come to a school board meeting or speak at a school board meeting. We begin promptly at 6 o'clock starting next Thursday. Thursday, the 25th of January. So once again, thank you to our school board. We hope you have a warm weekend and we will see you back here next week.